Gummy Toes by Sean Cassidy. Gummy Toes waddled out of his old red pipe and sat in the soft breeze. He breathed in the scent of damp grass and a deep orange sun warmed his skin. He eyed a dragonfly that buzzed past. Somewhere in the treetops, a bright robin warbled its evening song. Gummy Toes filled his throat with air until it puffed up like a balloon. He trilled a song of sweet high peeps. Then he listened for a reply. A voice called out, Oh! Gummy Toes glanced around to see who was admiring him. Nearby, two children were looking up at the bright robin, not Gummy Toes. I would like to be admired, croaked Gummy Toes. He sat up tall. He turned green. It would be nice if someone would notice him like this, he thought. Most animals couldn't change the color of their skin. No one noticed. The children scrambled after their kitten. They will be amazed to see me leap, said Gummy Toes. He took a deep breath. He sprang into the air higher than any tree frog had ever jumped before. But no one saw. A sunny butterfly fluttered overhead and the children danced after it. Everyone needs some attention, Gummy Toes grumbled. Gummy Toes hopped right up to the children. He raised his head. He called out his loudest, shrillest chirps. The children were impressed. He attached himself to the slippery glass jar and climbed right to the top. The children were amazed. An insect flew by. Gummy Toes snatched it from the air with his gluey tongue. The children were astonished. He did it again. The children were dazzled. The children were so dazzled they scooped up Gummy Toes. They dropped him into the jar. They brought him into the house and placed him in a terrarium. Then they added leaves, branches, and a small bowl of water. Gummy Toes looked around his new home. He filled his throat with air until it puffed up like a balloon. He trilled a song of sweet high peeps, and he listened for a reply. The children answered with shrill whistles and blaring squeaks. Startled, Gummy Toes plunged into the water. When the children stopped their noise, Gummy Toes climbed onto a branch. He slowly changed his color to match the rough bark. The children gaped. They dropped in an old sop and slopped in a big dripping spoon of raspberry jam to see if he would turn red. Frightened, Gummy Toes climbed the wall of his glass box. The children squealed with delight. They rapped and thumped on the glass to see if he would fall off. His new home had no soft breeze to caress his skin. The bright light bulb did not warm him like the deep orange sun. No tangy insects flew by. Old socks and jammy spoons were not fragrant like the dew on the grass. The noise that filled his ears were not the music of any bird. Gummy toes hid among the rocks and twigs. Late the next day, the children carried the terrarium outside. Gummy toes breathed in the scent of the earth and trees. An insect zoomed past and he plucked it out of the air. Then he caught another, but when he tried to scramble away, a hand grabbed him and put him back into his new glass home. Every evening, the children took him outside to catch his meal. They smiled when he peeped. They giggled when he changed his color from gray to green. They howled when he climbed the slippery glass walls, but they guarded him closely 
and every evening they took him back inside. Afterward, Gummy Toes would hide in the litter and think of his old red pipe. Then one evening, instead of catching insects, Gummy Toes peeped like a squeaky door. The children grinned. Instead of staying tree bark gray, Gummy Toes made his skin match the color of the girl's hair. The children giggled. He strained harder. His skin turned as bright as a new leaf. The children's gleeful squeals hurt his eardrums. Gummy Toes wobbled up the side of the terrarium like jelly. When he reached the top, he pulled his feet off the wall, one gluey toe at a time. Then he hung by just one foot. He wiggled his belly, and the children howled. He crossed his eyes. The children fell to the ground in a dizzy, laughing tangle. Gummy Toes hopped away. The children rose from the ground and wiped their eyes. They looked for Gummy Toes, but he had vanished. The children searched around the terrarium. They hunted on the ground. They searched and searched, but they never found Gummy Toes. The next evening, as the sun turned orange, Gummy Toes waddled out of his old red pipe. He lifted his face to the warm breeze. As the robin began its evening song, Gummy Toes filled his throat with air and trilled the sweetest song ever. He listened for a reply. A voice called out. And when the children raced by, Gummy Toes knew just what to do. He made himself as small, as still, and as quiet as he possibly could. <laughs>